In terms of how I got into rugby, I was a soccer player at a Harvard University, and after playing two years of soccer, I fell in love with rugby, and that was pretty much it. And I pursued it, tried to play at the highest level that I possibly could, and then when my competitive career was over, I felt like I was being called to coach. And because I had been involved with All Navy previously as an unfunded assistant, when the opportunity opened for the head coach position, I decided that I would go after it, and ultimately the officer in charge and All Navy Sports decided I was the right person for the job, and so I became the head coach in 2017. I don't think that I really realized I was making history. I just was looking for an opportunity to coach, and this showed up. And having been in the Navy, I served for 15 years uh, as a surface warfare officer in the active duty and the reserves. It just felt like a natural home and a natural fit for me to be part of this program. Being a coach, I would say, is more stressful uh, than being a player, because as a player, you know, you go out there and you compete. As a coach, you're worried about the whole unit at one time. So it's, 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 a, it's a cool experience to see it from the other side. And now I know why uh, Coach Coma has uh, all the stress in the world for her time when she does coach us. And pursuing the Armed Forces Championship and being here is such an amazing opportunity to celebrate military rugby, to work with people who are so dedicated both in service and to the sport, and for us to be able to really pursue and push ourselves to the point that we feel like we hopefully have given everything we can on the pitch, and also to recognize our brothers and sisters who are no longer here. So when we wear the jersey, it's not just for the people who are here at the tournament, it's for all those people that we might have played with, whom we knew that were part of the Armed Forces rugby community who are unfortunately no longer walking the earth. So thank you so much to Rugby Town, to Infinity Park, to the city of Glendale. Every year you roll out the red carpet, you treat us like rock stars, and it is an absolute privilege and an honor for us to be able to represent the United States Navy and do it playing rugby at Rugby Town.